Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Lisa Watson, and today we're going to talk about how to weld on positioner. Let's go. So many people are asking how you guys set up the speed on a different, um, different turntables. So there is no formula or something like that. Basically what I do, I'm going to be honest with you, I just eyeball it and I uh, make my setup based on the way the weld looks like because like every positioner runs differently so it's hard to say so this uh, diameter is good with this RPMs and blah 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 and stuff like that. No, uh, for me it's easier to show you how I do it because I am not familiar with this positioner. It's like my literally first time doing it and I'm going to set it up right now so you can see how I set up something that I have no idea how it works. So what I usually do, I just take piece of um, piping that I'm going to do some like uh, training passes on. So that way I can see either I go too fast or too slow. So I can, uh, based on the weld that I make, uh, I can set it up and after that, I can run it perfectly the way I need it. So uh, let me show you how I do it. So first thing first, I go it all the way down to zero RPM. So it doesn't move if I turn it on. Now I like to add, so I would say 0 0.5 RPM because here it's, it's hard to say, but let's do that. And now I just look how it moves. So this looks pretty slow to me, but I'm going to start from that. And once I set it up the way I want to, I will show you how the proper weld look like on stainless steel, because if you weld it too fast, it's not gonna look good and it's not gonna hold strong. And if it's too slow, it's gonna be overheated. So you still have to balance that with the speed and amperage and everything. Okay, let's start from this 0 0.5 RPM point and see uh, how it's going to look like. I am not going to back perch this part because it's just for um, test run. And I'm going to show you a little trick that helps me to like uh, keep my weld really nice and straight. I don't have anything fancy here, but I have this case and it's going to help me to hold the torch in one position. So I have kind of shaky hands, especially after coffee. So this thing is going to help me. I can feed the road, no problem. I can do it freehand, but I need some support for my torch hand. So this is my main trick how to do stuff like a robot. And today I'm going to run a uh, new machine from Everlast Welders. It's a uh, Hurricane 220. So it's that uh, like a multi-unit. It has TIG, MIG, stick, and plasma in one machine. Imagine that, just buy one thing and it's enough for the whole shop. And I'm going to check how the TIG side of it is stable for welding stainless steel. So I'm going to start from a very slow speed and I actually can see it's too slow for me, um, but Let's just, let's just try it because I know many people just, they're struggling with setting up positioner because it's kind of tricky. It's really hard to um, figure this thing out. Anyway, let's do uh, 0 0.5 RPM. So um, I'm working on 2.5 inch diameter um, tube and 0 0.5 is a little bit too slow, but actually not that bad. So I'm going to try to do it like 0 0.6, just a little bit up, but not too much, but I think I'm getting close. Uh, the machine that I have at my shop, uh, the turntable, it has like a digital um, screen so I can actually see the RPMs and it's much easier. Here is just a regular knob with the marks. 
but I think it should be close enough now to what I need. Let's check. So it's about 0 0.6 RPM. Okay, looks like it should be fine. So now I'm going to work on the actual piece that I want to weld all around nonstop. Okay, this is the main part that I'm going to weld all around. And uh, the most important thing, I'm going to tack it with uh, back purge. So if you saw the video with uh, stainless uh, basics, if you didn't see it, you can just uh, go and check it out after this video. But in that video, I tacked it the part that I was welding for the video without purge inside and it was pretty bad you know, in the penetration so right now I want to show you how actually really good penetration like proper penetration looks like okay let's tuck it here Okay, this should be good. I ran around like 15 CFH uh, back purge. So let's see if I set up the right speed. I'm not sure still, so, okay. <laughs> this is very interesting setup. Well, I honestly think, yeah, I ran too small, too slow. So let me turn up the RPMs. It's too slow. Let's continue.
Okay. Yes, nice. It's now it's much better. Yes. Okay. Let me show you the result. So I just want to show you how uh, too slow uh, stainless uh, steel will look like and how the perfect speed look like. And after that, I will do too fast and you will see the differences in between, in between um, those three. So this one that you see right now, this one is actually was made uh, on too slow. It's like 0. What, 6? Yeah, 0. 0.6. And it's pretty narrow because it's really, it's really hard to control the pedal when it goes too slow because stainless is kind of like jumpy always. It's annoying and uh, it's built up a lot outside. It's not because I didn't put enough heat. It's just because it's, it, it's going too slow. I can't really uh, push more on the pedal and to get more heat in it because it started just jumping around and I can't control um, the nice puddle in the spot that I need. And now I can show you the, the right one. Now it's much more uh, wider and you see this like a salmon color. It means it's really good. Um, it's good amount of heat, but it's not too much. And you can see the dabs really nicely. It still has a good penetration inside too as uh, the first one, but it's built up on top, not too much, but it's not like sucked in and it still has nice full pen inside. I'm going to show you later. And right now I want to do um, run on uh, high speed and like, like too fast when you even can't really um, feed the filler road um, quick enough, you know, to fill up the weld. Right now I'm going to do um, like a half of this uh, tube fast and after that I'm going to be like too fast so you can actually see the differences. And right now it's about like a one RPM based on the machine I have. I'm not sure. I hope I'm right right now. So the perfect one was 0 0.8. Let's see. Just a one real, real quick thing about um, when you go, when you already go too fast, then the speed that you need to. This one wasn't that bad, but the problem is my filler road start to stick into the part because it's uh, it's turning too fast, and it, I don't have time to actually heat it up good enough to be able to smoothly feed the. Uh, filler road in, into the puddle because it just it runs away too fast and it's already started to creating the line that I'm going to show you closer later. Now I'm going to turn up. Let's do one and a half. It's probably going to be super fast. Let me see. Ooh. Yeah, it's too much already. So this one is going to be fun. Oh my God. Ah.
Okay, this was too fast. So now you actually can see why it's wrong. Okay, guys, let's start from the slow one. So you can see it looks kind of cold and it's like gold-ish kind of weld right here because I couldn't really put um, a lot of heat into the puddle because I couldn't control it because it was too slow and it's like build up outside too much so now let's move to the nice one so now you can see it closer you see how smooth it is and nice depths really tight really tight and this like um, salmon color weld it means that it's really good heat control and also when you run on the right speed that's how you can figure out your speed it's super easy to control the puddle this is the best way to understand um, the speed that you're welding with so okay this is the example this is the perfect example 0 0.8 rpm or something like that let's move to the part so this one was fast not too fast it's still acceptable but i would not really use it on my products because it's already start to hard um, control the puddle it starts like jumping around and also there is like a sunken line it start appearing here it's hard to see it it's in the middle but you kind of can see where these two tubes were like joined together and now let's move to the too fast one it was really hard to weld and here you can actually see this line in between so the the puddle the weld is like sunk in too much and it's also the same problem on the inside so this weld is um, is probably gonna fail if just put it on the car or something like that and as you can see the gas coverage is pretty bad because when you um, move too fast uh, the weld that goes behind your cup goes too fast and it's not enough time for it to actually cool off in argon being covered with argon so this is the difference between um, right setup speed on the positioner and too slow and too fast okay guys i hope this information was um, helpful for you i know it's not that exact answer that you were looking for but unfortunately there is no like a special um, formula for this but the main tip i can give you about the positioner just play around and based on what i showed you how the slow looks like how the good one looks like and how the fast looks like you can kind of um, play around and find that exact speed that you are comfortable with it depends on the material it depends on the uh, diameter so just play around but this is the basic that actually can help you to start from something so you're not going to start from scratch you have some information and now you can use it and you're going to figure out it pretty quickly don't worry about that it was lisa watson thank you for watching and see you in the next video